Hi, everybody. Let me just state that I hate videos where people talk to the camera. So um, I just figured this is going to be a conversation, so might as well do it this way. So the main thing I get asked ever since I published my YouTube channel was, can I get your sheet music? And um, I always give the same answer. I don't have the legal rights to do that. And that was just my default answer. Um, my thought behind this, I'm a music teacher, and I would have over the years students show me YouTube videos of songs that they want to learn. Usually there are things from video games or anime, and uh, they're self-made by fans. And um, they have the overhead shots of the hands on the keys or that... Um, I forget what that's called, Synthasia or Synthesia, um, uh, like the falling colors on the keys. And uh, they'll be learning the video and then they'll tell me, oh, the video was taking it down. There was a copyright strike against it. And the kids were following on the screen the sheet music. So I always thought uh, if they're going to take down YouTube videos because they're showing sheet music on it, I better not do it on mine. Because I just want, if they allow the videos to stay up there, it's a good resource for everybody. I learned a lot making them. It made me practice a little harder to get the video right. And then a lot of people give me feedback and comment on chord inversions or things like that or, or instrumentation, uh, which is always interesting to talk about. So I thought I wouldn't risk the resource of leaving the video up. Um, and... It's something that's been in the back of my mind to find out how to publish it. Uh, my main goal was hopefully you guys would create enough awareness that somebody from Genesis's publishing company would approach me and say, hi, we'd like to publish your transcriptions. That would be a really neat thing to do. You guys can just buy a three size live book, right? Um, and uh, there are some self-publishing things that have come up in the intervening years, or at least that I was first made aware of. Um, now, it's gotten kind of weird. Um, I have had many people in the dozens reach out to me privately and ask me to sell this to them one-on-one. -on -one. And it, it's never worth the risk. Um, I don't feel like getting a cease and desist order by doing this illegally just to please somebody. And most people are cool about it. Um, some people, I, I've had some people say some mean things to me, which is kind of weird. Um, you know, offer me things saying, I'll, I won't share this with anybody else, but they're offering me things that shouldn't be shared. So it, it always gets a little bit weird. And, um, it's, I've had a lot of awkward conversations about it. So I'm trying to do this the right way as an example to my students and uh, as a way to just do right by Genesis or whoever owns the publishing rights. So there is a website um, that I've barely looked at called arrangeme.com. It looks like it's through Hal Leonard. And any of these Genesis songs I've typed the title in, it looks like I can publish it. It looks like I would get 10% 10 of the sales. Fine, whatever. I'd rather just sell it to someone and they publish it in a book. Um, so these are the, the questions I have for you. I need to kind of figure out what the format should be. Um, you know, is there like a font size or staff size? Uh, the other thing that I worry about, um, you know, I, I kind of made the videos because people keep asking me about it. So I'm like, here it is. And then people ask more questions. And I'm happy to answer them, but you know, when I'm getting hunted down personally and uh, it, it gets to be, I can't answer it all, all the time. So I want to do it right the first time. And it's kind of hard to convey that my parts were written for me. Um, I can't give, I don't want to give the parts out and have them floating around and shared when there's errors in them. You know, maybe I did a typo or maybe I changed something after doing it 
and I just memorized it in my head. I do read the music when I play. I, the music is very hard for me to memorize, these Tony Banks parts, um, especially like the chords in one hand when soloing in the other. I just don't, I just don't tend to memorize it. Um, so I'm not really sight reading the scores as I go. I'm, I'm looking at them constantly on my iPad, but um, there's a ton of weird stuff in there that is not meant for public consumption. So any piece that I publish, I'm going to want to go through it and make it ready for prime time. Um, that's just how I am. That's what I do for my students. Anything I do for my students, I slave over and make sure it's perfect. Stuff for me, there's, you know, measures are spaced strangely. You know, sometimes it's about the page turn. And the other thing is people need to know that these are the keyboard parts and how specific do I need to be? Like, does the upper staff lead and the bottom staff is organ? Which manual on the organ? I know that stuff when I look at the music because I know what I'm practicing. But um, I feel like if I don't have it in there, it might be harder and create more questions. So um, the other thing is the guitar and bass parts. I have all of the Mike Rutherford parts uh, and all of the bass guitar parts for everything from like the 76 to the 82 tour. I could, I could publish all of those. But the problem is our bass player in the Genesis show, Mike, um, he doesn't need tab. He's like the best bass player. He's one of the best musicians I've ever worked with. And he's a really excellent bass player. And um, he doesn't need tab, right? So then I'd have to make the tab and I'd have to consult with him how he plays it. And someone's going to send me the video from the uh, We Can't Dance tour, pa paused, <laughs> like, look where his hand is on the neck. You know, I get that stuff all the time. So um, that seems like a hassle to me. But do, do you guys want Mike Rutherford's parts? Um, uh, the guitar parts. Our, our guitar player, Steve, notice their names. They're actually Mike and Steve. Our guitar player, Steve, he had learned all the Hackett parts before I joined the band. So I don't really write those out for him. But what I do have done is when there's three guitars and we have to all play, I, I wrote his parts out as a way to keep it organized for myself. And then uh, the Sturmer and Rutherford lead parts from 78 onwards. Um, I wrote his parts out with tab so I could play it while I was learning it for him, if that makes sense. And then he always tells me like, dude, what were you doing? So like, I, th so if I publish those guitar parts, I'd have to consult with him and on how to do it. So, so those would be a little bit harder and it's a lot of extra work, but I'll do it if there's a market for it, if anyone's interested. Um, so that's kind of where my, where I am with this. Um, personally, the band wants me to not really publish the things that we're doing. You know, the ideas. We already have enough hard time getting gigs in other cities when there's a like a Genesis tribute band in that city, and uh, they're like, "Well, we already have, you know, Abasquonk," <laughs> and you know, we're like, "Yeah, but we're a little different," you know. So it's so maybe there wouldn't be any competition um, but I would say that the chances are pretty good that the first things I would publish are things that I know we're probably never going to do again like uh, the Abacab tour like me and Sarah Jane no reply at all you know just to kind of see how it goes before I publish like the most requested one which is Ripples um, so that's where I stand on it and uh, sorry this is a long video hostage video but um you know, it's just, it's something I've been, people have been asking me about. It's been really hard to figure out. I know going forward, it's going to be a lot of work and very little reward for me. But I do want to be known as someone that can transcribe parts. I'd like to get, you know, you know more work in that regard. So if this is a good way to do it, we can all benefit. So that's kind of what I'm asking. Like, what are you interested in? How much do I have to put into the part as to which hand plays what you know it's not going to be a solo piano arrangement with the melody in the right hand Th those already exist um, so this would be very specifically the live parts that tony banks and the rest of the guys played on those tours 
Okay, so let me know what you think, and um, hopefully I can uh, get this out for you soon. Thanks.